Hello guys, I am back. I am Anik Mukhopadhyay, and this is the second video. Sorry, the third video on the carbine. First of all, forgive me for the background noises. It's raining quite heavily outside, so you will hear some thunders. And also forgive me for the very long videos that have been happening. All of them have been something like 20 minutes or something. So I would try to keep it short. In this, we will only discuss one reaction so that your mind isn't overloaded, which is the addition of alkenes. So before anything, let me tell you what is addition of alkenes. Suppose we have any alkene. Okay, here I have drawn a cis alkene. I will give an example with trans also. We gave CHCl3 and KOH, which you should remember gives us the singlet. If you didn't understand, please watch the previous video. I have given the card here. What will happen is, yes, I too can hear the thunders. Don't worry. It's like an Imagine Dragon concert outside. So, this would be the product. As you can see, initially it was an unsaturated and now it is a saturated hydrocarbon. Not really hydrocarbon, now it is an alkyl halide. But this is the thing. Similarly, suppose we took CH3, this, here we took H, here we took H, here we took CH3. What is the purpose of this? Yeah, this is trans, right? And we gave the same reactants. What will happen? Just let me draw. As you can see, cis will remain cis and trans will remain trans. So, this is also called a stereospecific reaction. Okay, and another thing you might have noticed that we used singlet mechanism here. Let's not use the word mechanism yet. We used singlet carbines. How do we know? Because this reagent is for singlet carbine. Watch the previous video again if you don't understand what I am talking about. So similarly, what would have happened if we took triplet mechanism or triplet reagents? Let's see. First of all, do you remember what are triplet reagents? Well, I remember. First, let me draw the alkene. As long as I remember, whenever we took something like H mu heat, and something like CH2N2, this gave us triplets, right? So, what would be the product with this? This will give us two products. So, draw karne dijiye. Plus. M E M E H H. So, wh what can you understand from this? Initially, this was cis. We got trans plus cis product. So, this is called a stereoselective reaction. That if you give either cis or trans, you will get both. And the previous was stereospecific. So, if you give either cis or trans you will get either cis or trans now you have known you know the products you can already score full marks in exams now let me just inform you about the mechanisms first of all let me show you the singlet mechanism what is the singlet mechanism this is our alkene And this is our carbene. Cl, Cl. Here we have up, down. And here we have this. What happens is, this is an empty orbital, right? Empty orbital. So, this makes it an electrophile. As I told in the first video. 
But again, this is a lone pair. This makes it a nucleophile. Such strange times, a thing is an electrophile and nucleophile at once. So, what happens is, it does electrophilic attack and nucleophilic attack at once. I know that sounds confusing, but it's not one, that confusing if you understand. One of the bond breaks here creates a minus. This minus goes into this orbital. Meanwhile, of course, this a del plus would be created here. Well, not really del plus. You can tell it's a classical cation too. And this lone pair attacks here. So, if that happens, what will happen? You can clearly see this would completely get attached and the charges would get neutralized again. So, our product is formed. Okay, and as both happen simultaneously, there is no, there is no like opportunity for the bond to rotate. So, that's why it is stereo uh, specific. So, no opportunity. for bond rotation. So, why did I say this? You can already understand that because I told there is no opportunity here, there must be opportunity in the other one. Like somewhere you will get opportunities, don't worry. So, here what happens is, again there is our beautiful alkene. And now, when the carbene approaches, What happens is, it goes into a transition state. This bond partially breaks and partially forms a bond with this. Meanwhile, this electron changes its spin. Its spin. So, this up spin electron goes there and the eventually becomes a vacant orbital again. So, basically, it's the singlet make that happens again. Mechanism with extra steps. What was the extra step? That spin change. And when does the spin change occur? When this transition state happens. So, what do we take away from this? The thing is, time taken for spin change is much greater than time taken for bond rotation. That's why this is possible now. And if this is possible, then both cis and trans would be formed. So, that was basically it. Our example on, not example, the basic reactions. Examples I will show you now. Suppose we have, let me see, what examples can I give? We have this. If we do singlet on this and if we do triplet on this, what would be the products? Pause the video and try. Don't worry, I will draw the products. If we do singlet, this only cis would be formed and if we do triplet, both cis and trans would be formed. Of course, this would be CL, CL here and here they won't be CL because we used CH2N2. So, there is no opportunity of CL coming there. So, that was it guys. That was the video. I won't burden you too much. You can stop the video here and go away. I am just gonna tell you in the next video, we are going to discuss our favorite, our old friend, Reimer Teinman reaction. Okay. And its complete mechanism. I won't teach you reactions without their mechanism because that's basically just telling you to memorize everything. So, that was my time. Goodbye guys. Make sure to like, share and subscribe the video. I have kept the video short not to overload your brains. So, please appreciate that. Also, I gave color picture this time since all many of you asked. So, appreciate that also. Show your appreciation in form of likes. Goodbye.